everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, hello, my name is Sam and it's lovely to meet you. If you're not new around here, welcome back to the fun house. I just want a little disclaimer, we are filming with baby on board today. She's like, she's playing and watching the telly at the moment. We'll see how that goes. Hashtag mom life. Um, so yeah, if you haven't already guessed by the thumbnail today, I'm going to be t showing you my top 10 palettes that I would recommend for springtime uh, and there, there is another one just a you know a little extra uh, but yeah let's dive into it and let's show you what I think is perfect for spring get started if you're wondering what is on my eyes today I already have an Instagram reel I didn't film just because it was a new palette and I didn't know if people would be interested but if you are it is in the spring collection so if you're interested in me doing some looks with it let me know and I'll definitely do that for you so for the first palette that we're going to start out with is going to be my honourable mention palette uh, this is just I typically wouldn't reach for this palette alone that's kind of why I've just kind of threw it in here it is an all shimmer palette so it isn't my technically my go-to everyday sort of palette I like a combination of mattes and shimmers in a palette I am not one that will um, have companion palettes or mix up palettes it's just it just I just I just prefer to have everything all in one that is just easier for me but yeah so I thought I'd throw this in there and this is the Gourmand Girls Ethereal Palette I think this packaging is absolutely stunning it is already so spring with those pastels and pops of colour it is really beautiful and the colour story is just as nice those are some spring vibes i've only used this palette like once i think which was the other day i used it as an inner corner and the shimmers were so so beautiful i cannot wait to play around with this and add it to some of the palettes i'm going to talk about and yeah just really excited really love that and it's definitely perfect for spring in my opinion the next palette i also <laughs> i haven't used i bought this last black uh, yeah in the sale last black friday but I just haven't used it, I just haven't got around to it. I am a type of person that would like to do my makeup look as the seasons come and go, but that doesn't have to apply to everybody. Like if you wanna wear bright green, bright pink, bright purple eyeshadow any time of year, then you wear it any time of year. You wear what you wanna wear. It's just a personal preference that I would like to wear different looks for different seasons so i've kept this one to one side now if you want me to do a video on this again let me know down in the comments i definitely can it's a formula that i haven't tried i've never tried the brand before so i'm really interested um so yeah i might do like a spring get ready with me and include this palette if that's something that you're interested in this is the give me glow i think this is the coral nightlife and as far as i'm aware this is still available um, but yeah, look, I mean, I love the colours again, but look at that colour story. Oh my God, that is so beautiful. It doesn't have much depth to it, but it, that doesn't really, it doesn't really bother me. Do you know what I mean? Because I feel that like you could definitely create something so, so beautiful. This yellow kind of reminds me like the yellow out of the Sea Talk palette, but I don't know because I haven't used it. So whether they are similar, I'm not too sure. Uh, but yeah, can't wait to dive around with that so i'm gonna i definitely think i'm gonna do a video so keep your eyes peeled the next one is the one that i'm wearing on my eyes today this is low stock and when they get rid of it it isn't coming back unfortunately that is why i had to pick it up and then it came in the post yesterday and i've had to play with it today and it is the heather austin and a Deck cosmetics palette again it's just a bit of like a grungy spring for me these tones down here this yellow and green which is what i've Put on the outer corner today i just absolutely love it it's really really nice and i'm really loving adept's formula um i have this one and their arrow inspired palette and yeah i'm really enjoying their formula at the moment it took me a while to get used to but now that i have i'm really enjoying playing around with these and these shimmers feel just as beautiful and soft and shifty as all of the shimmers in the arrow palette um, so yeah, really good one and I think I'll pull, pull that out for spring a lot. Uh, the next one is unfortunately discontinued now. But I had to talk about it just because it's, it's something that I would pull out and if you already have it then it's something that you could pull out as well. Is the Olden Zai and, and Jessica Heller palette. I just love green eyeshadow, I just love green eyeshadow and this has such a funky colour story because it also has those pops of pink as well. I just think these tones, like these lighter, limey, beautiful greens 
uh, yeah, maybe not so much the darker roll at the bottom. This was my first ever multi-chrome that I got and I, it just made me fall in love with multi-chromes. Uh, but this is such a good palette. It's, it's a stunning, it's a stunning palette. I absolutely love it. Next, we're going back into Adept Cosmetics. As I said before, this was the first palette that I own from them, their most recent palette, and it is the Arrow Inspired Palette. Unfortunately, this is discontinued on their site, but I believe it's available on Monolith, so I will try and find that and link that down below for you. Uh, but yeah, again, another green, but you could go like lighter green, you could go like grungy green, and these like different pops of purple and pink and green, multi chrome shifty shadows you have everything that you want in here i absolutely love this palette this definitely screams spring and again the packaging is green it's just my favorite the next one that i have is the newest release from cosmic brushes just i don't i say it about every palette but the packaging is just so springy with the flowers the purple the green i just i just love it i just do a well curated color story yeah these are beautiful she did so well with this palette it's just so soft but grungy but yeah so you've got those of pinks and purples and greens this is yeah it's definitely perfect for springtime um and i think it's just going that a little bit lighter just before the summer but you can create a very beautiful grungy green look if you wanted to as well which i love uh, the next one is one of my most recent palettes, I think, from this brand. And this is the Sea Talk palette, as I said about this yellow. This is the one with in collaboration with Lauren May Beauty. I wouldn't necessarily say the blues are really... I don't really think of blue when I think of spring, but this pop of yellow. These sort of neutrally toned, like minty green up here. It's so, so beautiful. But this navy does go with all kinds of looks, and obviously, yeah, you know, you can just go neutral with it, but like add a pop of colour. I just, I just love it. It's, it's definitely one for more neutral lovers that want to dabble with a bit of colour. I think it's really perfect. And this one is still in stock, in stock, but it is limited edition. So if you wanted to grab it, please, please do. The next palette that I have is the first one that I tried from this brand, and it is the Fairy Tales Fairies Simply Posh Cosmetics. I love this look at those pastel colors that is just it's just beautiful i love this palette more than the genuine gems one these shimmers are so shifty and sparkly on the eye and you can definitely grunge this up or deepen this look up if you really really wanted to this one is just is so it's the quality is just 10 out of 10 for me um i prefer this as i said over the genuine gems i didn't buy the berry ice palette that they did this earlier this year I just love this one. I, I, this one is just, it's just for me. It's just for me. Last three now that I want to talk about, I had to obviously include some Nomad in this. It would be wrong if I didn't. They're one of my favorite, favorite brands. And this is the Fete de Provence palette. Again, the packaging, I could say this over and over again, but those flowers, the sun flowers, the colors, it's just perfect and so is the colour story. I wouldn't necessarily say that these are your typical spring colours, but these yellows and these like pinks, I was just I absolutely love it. The berry tones, even the purples, honestly, it's absolutely stunning. And this shade here is absolutely beautiful. I really do love this palette. I cannot wait to be pulling it out. Next we have the Flora Stora palette from Olden's Eye. This was in collaboration with Makeup Just For Fun. This one is sold out unfortunately but it is restocking on the 25th of March and that will be the last time that it does restock. Um, so yeah, if you wanted to get this or you were interested in the colour story then just be aware that once that one's gone, the next restock, it will not suck again. And again, it's green, it's purple, it's me. Um, I absolutely love it. It's it's just so so pretty. And again, it's just it's just spring, isn't it? Even with like the fronts with the plants, and I can't really say much more about it. Really, it's stunning. The palette that I want to talk about. This isn't a rankings video, by the way. But if it was, I feel like this palette would come in first place. If you haven't already guessed already, what it's going to be is the Blend Bunny Lure palette. I love this palette. I love the whole mermaid theme. I don't think mermaid theme is very springy, but I just I just love it personally. And these tones, these three rows scream spring to me. Maybe not so much the depth row unless you want to deepen up a look anytime. 
but these pastel -y tones up here so pigmented like unreal unreal how pigmented they are and the shimmers are so so beautiful this is a multi chrome up here it's stunning it looks amazing with any of these shades uh yeah i absolutely love this palette to death and i will be reaching for it a lot this spring i'll try and reach for all of them but yeah i think that i would definitely pick that out as number one and that's everything that is all of the 10 palettes that i have slash 11 in my collection i hope that you've enjoyed this video i hope that you've stuck around till the end let me know down below in the comments what are your palettes that you'll be reaching for this spring are you hoping to pick up any new palettes are you waiting to see what's going to be released and i will see you all very soon in the next one bye